Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka Be Rich Beauty, aka your beauty best friend. And today's What's in Your Bag has the hilarious Quentin Latham, aka Funky Dineva herself, is in the house. Well, social distancing, of course. And Quentin's gonna walk us through what's in his bag for male grooming, but y'all know I'm nosy, so he's gonna really show us what's in Funky Dineva's bag, too. So you know what to do grab your cocktail, grab your juice, and let's get this party started. The hilarious, the often insightful, Funny man himself, Q, a.k.a. Funky Dineva, is in the house. How you doing, sugar? I am doing good. I am super, like, excited to even be here and do this. This is probably the first time I've ever done a video, like, in the health and beauty space. So really? this should be It should be. And it's funny because as much makeup and stuff as I wear when I'm in character and doing media, you would think, um, but this is gonna be different from my fans and hopefully yours too. And that's what I was gonna say, like, I can't believe this is the first time because you've been doing this for how many years now? I've been doing it, I think, somewhere around 10. Yeah, the wigs and the makeup and the lipstick. Wow, 10 yeah. years at Funky Dineva. Yeah. What you sipping on over there? I see you get it. Of course, very classy, straight out the bottle. Mm -hmm. No, we are classy based. Um, the other night, I wanted something to drink, but I didn't want to get tipsy, tipsy. So instead of getting a hard liquor, I went and got the little four pack of the little mini wines. <laughs> and, and I just happened to open my refrigerator and I found one. And I went in there to get water, uh -huh. but I found a little mini wine. I was like, you know what? I'll just have me a little pink, little white Ziffindale. Come on, white Ziffindale. Well, I'm drinking a rose. Cheers to your white Ziffindale. Mm -hmm. So, 10 years at, with the wigs and the makeup as Funky Laniva. How did you get into that character and how did it stick? So it's funny because friends from college would tell you that Funky Laniva is nothing more than Quentin with the wig on. Uh, it really just was a mistake. Me and some friends went out for Halloween. We were dressed as the Real Housewives of Atlanta. This was around the time when they first came out. I was the Nene character, that's October. Fast forward to December, I'm cleaning up the basement. I find the wig up under the, the sofa, dusty. I'm taking a break, I put it on, I get my iPhone. I'm like, yes, honey, yeah. My half is the age, just having fun. I'm gonna give you the really quick story here. And um, I sent it to a friend of mine from college. He ended up posting it on Facebook and it just, it, it went viral. And so people loved it so much, it took off. People laugh and to make my own self laugh because I could say things about real life and character that yeah. I could not say as Quentin. And then over time, a, a light bulb that went off and said, hey, you might have something here. And I decided to pursue it once I got fired from accounting. And wow. that's how I got here. That's the quick and dirty. But yes, I'll take it quick and dirty and however you want to give it to me. But now, <laughs> with that being said, though, 10 uh -huh. years as Funky Dineva. So what's in her bag? Okay, normally in Dineva's bag. I have two bags, right? I have my small little Quentin Latham bag uh -huh. and I have my Dineva bag. Okay. So I'm gonna start with what normally is in my Dineva bag, which are my most important, right? The most important thing for me, especially when I am doing my own makeup, would be my concealer. My NW45 from MAC. This is, this is me. Although I have what people consider to be good skin and smooth skin, I got a, just a little darkness up under my eyes. And so people be surprised how much just a drop of this up under the eyes goes a long freaking way in changing your appearance. So I got my concealer. I've got my foundation, which is uh, Makeup Forever. Okay. Is that a liquid or a cream? This is, I, I don't know. It's like a deodorant, like a push pop. Okay, it's a push pop, not the flex. Like a push pop. You know, I don't know about these things. And outside of that, I always keep me an eyeliner. Uh huh. And a and a, and a sharpener. Okay. Uh, Is that black eyeliner. I'm black. That's what I use. That's what okay. I use. I this forty-five dollar um, ass makeup brush that them bitches at Mac uh, made me buy. But for whatever reason, I love it. I've had this brush for years. You know, I'm not a professional artist, but Gets done everywhere. I put this on, this on, that on. It works for me. It's such um, a good brush, though. It is. I like. Um, of course, I keep some eye drops just in case. And Dineva's always in and out of hotels, so for moisture, I just pick up the little, you know, just the little hotel things because they're small, they're free. 
you know, most people leave them on the counter anyway. Uh -huh. So then I, I throw these in my bag. She was nothing without her lipsticks. So of course, I've got all different kind of lipsticks. I was gonna say, Dineva is known for a classic red. So who's that classic yes. red lipstick ba made by? You know what? Wherever the fuck the gas station or CVS and Walgreens get her from. When I got my red lipstick on. Oh, it's funny because it's like the cheaper the better when it comes to being. Uh, so you say. Uh, I'm sure the artists use the more expensive stuff, but I use cheap gas stations. So what's it? Wet and wavy, wet and wild. Wet and wild, um, child. Wet and wild. The from the beauty Walmart supply stuff, store. The beauty supply store stuff, right? You know, I always got one of these because the girls say you're supposed to have one of these. Little Do thing, you, you know. You use your beauty blender. I like it. Yeah, I like it. It gets up under the eye real good. And okay. uh, an artist told me to, you know, pull it back. So I pull it back. Mind you, I'm not a pro. This is just when I have to, you know, a funky Dineva appearance and there's no makeup artist in the budget. I've learned how to do it well enough to get the job done. So then okay. I also keep a little uh, foundation, two shades lighter than what I am to contour when the need comes to give me the little skinny, rich white woman nose. You mean highlight, highlight. If you go on lighter, you highlight it. That part. You see what I'm saying? That part. All I know is I'm supposed to put the lighter part down here like this and then my T's on. I know enough to get the job done. I'm gonna need um, Funky Dineva to do a makeup tutorial, please. Oh my God. Let's do one together. It'd be hilarious, but she'll get you together. The travel toothbrush, okay. of course. Um, Absolutely. I keep shaving cream in there, because you know, mama mama has upper lip hair. Do you normally shave um, when Funky Dineva makes an appearance? I'll shave it down, just shave it down. You know, a beard is part of my stick, so I will shave yeah. it down, or whatever the case may be. What is you know that? what I'm saying? If it's going to be like an all day. So it's like the stuff you spray on that's to set your makeup so it doesn't rub off and stuff. Got you. And then oftentimes when I'm on stage, it's a long stage day. I've been drinking or whatever. I have my little facial mist. I, I love the mist moment. I do. It uh, not only rehydrates my makeup, but it wakes me up, gives me a little pep in my step, pops me up. And I actually swear by this stuff. Um, you know what, Quinn, the outside of that might be the reason why I love you so much, because you never like to miss on, out on having a missed opportunity. Okay? Oh, definitely. Listen, I'm always like, give me a little miss. First of all, I'm dark skinned, right? And so I've been called dusty and ashy all my life. And so I've got a, a thing about that. Like, like, God forbid, I just don't want to be dusty and ashy. And it's hydrated. very easy for us darker skinned people to end up looking dusty and ashy in photos, especially if your skin is not hydrated i agree now here's my question because thank you for sharing mm -hmm. all of those things so funky Dineva has concealer foundation a variety of different lips and eyeliner now mm -hmm. what i like about the pro long wear concealer is even in a pinch just a little tip for you as well mm -hmm. you can wear that thing all over and it's 15 hours mm -hmm. of wear it's not going anywhere i mm -hmm. keep that concealer with me at all times because it's and believe so it or not so many times i do um yeah. especially when i have to you know just go out as like quitting late i don't need that much it is perfect because i just take it from under here over here even it all out hydrate mm -hmm. use your 45 dollar brush and blend right. it in right and i'm good to go more times than not when i am on youtube that's what I use. So oh, that is. was Funky Dineva. Now, what does Quentin need to be well-groomed? So the Quentin bag, and this is when I'm doing my YouTube videos as Quentin Latham, or I'm doing press, or going to a, a nice party. It's very simple. I, I, I actually can actually get away with just three items. Okay. And that's my brush, my liner, and my concealer. Okay. If I just have these three, I'm truly good to go. If I want to get a little spotty, I'll throw in the foundation. A little foundation. You know but more times than not, I don't need the foundation. Like you said earlier, a little bit of this, I take it from up under the eyes, blend it very well. Luckily for me, my skin is relatively even. I don't have a lot of blemishes yeah. or 
different sure. trades or whatnot. And you'll be surprised for me, between me doing YouTube and, and going out to functions, one of these will last me about a year. Yeah, I mean, because the drop is all you need. A dollar will do you. It's super concentrated and it has great coverage. It's medium to full coverage. Okay, there's actually one more thing that I use. What's that? I use this, uh, it comes in like a lipstick tube, uh, but it's coloring for my beard. So when I want to cover them in the grays, oh. I'll just do one of these numbers really so that's quickly. Cute. When I'm out. That and, uh, you know what? It's it's called cover gray. So I'm not really sure. I've had it for a while. The tag's almost off of it, but I got it in Walgreens, like in the hair dye area. And it's just a little lipstick, and you just do like this. Adding that to my list. You know what I'm saying? It's called cover grace, and it covers the grace. When I used to cover the grace, I mean, most times these days, I don't bother covering them anymore. Listen, um, we're in quarantine times, honey. Like, we're giving zaddy teas over there, so. Well, and the people say they like it. They say they like it, so. It was good on you. You know, I found an albino here the other day, so I have to invest in some cover gray. Mm -hmm. Now, question for you, right? So, okay. you know, oftentimes RuPaul says, you know, RuPaul in full drag is because there's somebody cutting him a check. When does Funky Nut Dineva come out to play? Following like, the RuPaul model these days and times, mostly so when I'm actually doing a show that I've been paid for or has been booked as Funky Dineva, or if the tea is so hot that I just have to be messy on a 10th power, then I got to go get the wigs, I got to go get my red lipstick, I got to beat this face because only Dineva can bring the heat uh -huh. when it's necessary. Other than that, these days you get Quentin Latham. 10 years blogging uh -huh. and this landscape of blogging, it's super saturated and ever changing. What do you think has kept Funky Dineva so relevant in terms of being a staple for all of us? Like I, I you know, I'm a subscriber. I get those notifications, mm -hmm. those videos drop and I'm watching it, you know? Mm -hmm. The only thing I can truly say is I'm walking in my calling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It has no choice but to work for me because this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm of the belief that God puts in all of us that one thing that we need to make it and be successful in life. Some people, it's the ability to draw. Other people, it's the ability to sing. In my case, it's the ability to communicate. I am truly walking in my calling. Right. And that is why on a platform such as YouTube, where there's absolutely zero barriers to entry, it costs zero dollars to be a YouTube. YouTube is something that is available to homeless people and people in third world countries. Anybody can enter YouTube. So with me having the whole world as my competition and being able to stand out and still be in the game 10 years strong, um, the only thing that I can truly attribute to it is the fact that I am doing what I was put on this earth to do, and that is to communicate and entertain. Yes. Masses. I, I think that's such a beautiful answer. And I think especially right now during this, you know, stay in place and what is happening in the world around us, this is opportunities for so many people to really kind of assess what their next move is going to be, um, to perfect. And there's nothing like being able to understand what your purpose is. And I will tell you, you do a damn good job at it, sugar. Thank you much. I appreciate it. And I'm glad that all of you out there watching appreciate it. Now, I'm going to be a little messy real quick before we wrap this up. What was your thoughts on this season of Housewives of Atlanta? This season of the Housewives of Atlanta, you know, I, I'm over two people. I'm over Nene and I'm over Kenya, to be quite honest. Nene just isn't fun anymore. Like when I, I remember the thrill I used to get when we first started watching the Housewives, it was like, ooh, who is this sassy black woman that reminds me of my auntie? You know what I'm saying? Or my mama. Somehow she's morphed into something that I just can't relate to, nor do I understand. Kenya and her constant antagonizing the other characters and then playing victim has gotten on my nerves. It's toxic. I find my nerves being around. Such a double standard she has. Do you think? God, it's but it's so crazy how it's blatant. And like no, none of her friends call her out on the double standard, really. You know, it 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 sucks. But I think there's a lot to play there. I think 
money used to play there. And a lot of people don't call Kenya out because, hey, I think a lot of people don't want that cat scratching up their tree, number one. And I think, too, those ladies, especially the more tenured ladies, realize we got to kind of leave her alone and act to, to act to ass because we're not willing to do it. And we need her for the ratings. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's why a lot of shit goes unchecked with Kenya. But for me as the viewer, after 12 seasons, the shit's just gotten stale. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Of course. And thanks for showing us what's, what's in your bag and also Funky mm -hmm. Daniva's bag as oh, well. Definitely. All right, guys. So you know what to do. Like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. And until next time, love you lots. Cheers, Q. Mwah.